In today's video, I'll go over all of the Pinterest marketing metrics that you can uncover with the Keywords Everywhere browser add-on. So let's get started. Okay, so there are some very insightful metrics that you can look at to help with your competitive analysis on Pinterest. Now, we wrote up this article with all of the details. So if you want to read it, click the link in the video description. So to access the Pinterest marketing metrics, make sure you have the Keywords Everywhere browser add-on installed and turned on and do a search on Pinterest. The first thing I wanna point out is the pin data overlaid on each pin. For each post, you can see how many repins it received, how many saves, reactions, comments, and the age of the pin. Now, if you want to hide these metrics, just click on hide pin metrics on the top right here and the metrics will automatically disappear. Now, the pin data can also be seen on the pin itself. So if you open up a pin, you can see that data right here. Now, let's talk about the three widgets up here. The first one is the search insights widget. This shows you high level data for the search results page. You can see the top pinner, which is the account that has the most pins for this search result. You can see the average reactions that each pin has received in this search result. You can also see the total verified pinners as well, including the average slides per story and the dominant colors from all of these pins. So this is a great widget that provides you with a competitive analysis of your search term. The next one is the trend chart. This shows you the search trend for this search query over the past year. Now this trend data is taken directly from Pinterest trends. And as I hover over this graph, you can see the search volume. Now the search volume is pulled from the Google Keyword Planner. Now one thing to note is that Pinterest trends only pulls from the United States, the UK or Canada. Now you don't necessarily need to live in either of those three countries, but if you want to pull data from one of those countries, all you need to do is update the country in your profile to access that country's Pinterest trends data. The next widget is the related trends widget. So this shows you the keywords that are related to your search term. We can also see the average monthly search volume and the trend over the past year. Now these metrics are pulled from the Google Keyword Planner as well. Now I want to direct your focus on the data just below the search term. You can see the average monthly search volume for this term, the average cost per click for Google Ads, the competition score, and the search volume every single month over the past year. Now this data does come from the Google Keyword Planner, you can also click on this link to find topic ideas for your search term. So when you click on that, Keywords Everywhere will create a report that looks like this. So this feature uses Pinterest's auto-suggest API to find long tail topic ideas based on your search query. So we can see all of these long tail keywords right here related to Adidas shoes with the average monthly search volume from the Google Keyword Planner, including the average cost per click, competition score, the trend, and also the trending percentage. You can set up filters right here to find the exact long tail keywords you are looking for. You can also click on this copy button, which copies this data so you can paste it elsewhere. You can save this as an Excel file, CSV, PDF, or even print out this table. And lastly, I wanna show you the auto-suggest dropdown. So when you click on the search bar, you can see the auto-suggested list of keywords Below. And for each of the suggested keywords, you can see data pulled from the Google Keyword Planner, like the average monthly search volume, average cost per click, competition score, and also the exact monthly search volume for these keywords over the past year. All right, so those are all of the Pinterest marketing metrics that you can access with the Keywords Everywhere browser add-on. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.